People write music for different reasons. Some people write music to worship God. Some want to celebrate nature. Some want to express joy or their frustrations. Gustav Mahler was different. He wanted to not just do all that, but also describe the whole world and the human experience. He tried to do this in nine deeply personal symphonies of epic proportions. Mahler's second symphony, known as The Resurrection, asks two big questions. What happens after death? And what is the meaning of life? And it all starts with the funeral. We stand at a funeral of a well-loved person and reflect on the life he lived. We realize that everyone suffers and has to die eventually. In that moment, we ask, what now? Do we exist after death? Is life a cruel joke? To go on living, we need answers. Unfortunately, we leave the funeral with these questions left unanswered. From a cloudless sky, a ray of pure sunlight illuminates a happy moment from the person's life. And the not-so-happy moments, too. This melancholic recollection does not last long, however, and the unanswered questions return. Mahler then presents us with an orchestral version of a bizarre song about the pointlessness of life. In it, St. Anthony preaches a sermon to a school of fish. At the end of the sermon, the fish leave one by one. The sermon has pleased them, but they don't change their ways and continue in vice. Mahler described this in another way. Watching a dance through a window and hearing no music, the turning and twisting seem senseless. The world looks like this when you lose yourself, distorted and crazy, as if reflected in a concave mirror. He cannot bear this feeling anymore and cries out in despair. A man stands on the edge. He searches in agony for the answers. Just then, a voice of childlike faith speaks in his ear. You are from God. Return to God. The loving God will light your way to eternal life. Mahler shows us a terrifying vision of the apocalypse. The earth shakes, the dead arise, and march along in a mighty procession. Whether rich or poor, kings or beggars, all are equally terrified of divine judgment. There is an eerie calm, and the last trumpet sounds. Two birds are the only beings left alive. The heavenly chorus calls on the dead to rise again, singing that we did not live in vain. Mahler finds answers to his big questions. We have all been divinely saved. Our search for answers has led us to God. He uses the orchestra and voices to conjure a breathtaking vision of eternal life. An overwhelming love lightens our being. We know, and we are. 